Hi. In the previous lesson, we have seen how to start and stop services of Oracle Business 12.2 with a database 12c. In this lesson, we'll be seeing how to start and stop services if you are having EBS 12.2 with a 19c database. The order of starting and stopping services will obviously remain the same, which means while you are starting the services, you will start with the database, then the application. And while you are stopping the services, first you will stop the application, then the database. So let us see what is the environment we are going to use for checking the managing services lesson for EBS 12.2 with 19c. So the database hostname is ebsdbn1.finelearn.com and application hostname is ebsappn1.finelearn.com and application version is 12.2.9 and the database is 19c. It is basically a two node architecture where I have one database node and one application node. The db user is oracle and application user, a application user is applmgr. The database name is dev. So the exercise in this exercise what we'll do is first I'll start the database, the DB tire using Oracle provided scripts. Then I'll start the application tire. Then I'll again stop the application tire and I'll stop the DB manually using the regular commands that is SQL as is DBA. So in that way, we'll be covering both script based starting services and also manual based method also. One important thing you need to understand is if you are using a 19c database with Oracle eBusiness Suite 12.2, remember that 19c is only certified to be used with EBS 12.2 if it is a CDB. So you cannot run a non-CDB 19c with EBS. So there will be two environment files in this case, one with only SID which is a PDB name and the other will be with the cdb name underscore sid underscore hostname dot env. So there'll be two different environment files. So let us have a look at the practicals now. So first I have connected to my database. So I'll go to u01 dev. db home and 19.0.0. So here, if I give ls start.env, you can see if we can ignore these uh, older ones, these are older environment files. So I can even delete them, the old files. These are not related to my environment. Done. So now again, ls start.env, you can see that there is one cdb underscore hostname.env and pdb underscore hostname.env. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the environment of the CDB here. Done. So now I'll go to scripts location and I'll simply use addbctl.sh start. So the database is now started successfully. As you can see here, first it will start the CDB and then it will try to start the pluggable database that is the PDB, which is dev here. So my CDB name is basically dev CDB here and the PDB name is dev. Now database is started. Now we can start the listener. Remember when you are actually using 19C database with eBusiness Suite, the listener name is same as the name of the CDB. So usually you can see that the context name directory is what you see here is pdb underscore hostname. But remember the listener name is always the name of the CDB. So I'm going to run start dev CDB. So that is your listener. If you give PSF and EF, EF grep TNS, you can see that the listener name is the CDB name. So now that I've started the database, what I'll do is I'll go to the application tier. I'll go to my base directory and set the environment by using ebasapps.env run. Verify the database connectivity. It's working fine. So now let us start the services.
Remember, in 12.2, there is no difference on the application tire services. Obviously, if you are using 19C or 12C database, only on the database node, you'll have additional environment files. And there is a bit of change in the way the users connect to the database because they have to now connect to basically the service name of the PDB. Apart from that, there is not much of a difference between a 12C and 19C database while starting and stopping services. So the service have been started successfully. Let us have a look at the URL once before we open the front end and check. So this is the URL. Now let us log in and check. Find the service are up as you can see. Now let us log in. Yes, the front end is now open. So this is how you start the services of Oracle Business Suite 12.2 with 19C database. Now let's try to stop the services as well. So I'm running the same command like what we have done previously for 12C database also because application tier will not change much. I've run ad stop all data search and uh, give the weblogic password also. So once the application tier services are down, what we will do is we'll stop the database manually. While starting the services, we have used the scripts, addbctl and addlnctl. But now while stopping, we'll be using the manual commands that is lsnctl and SQL plus ssdba. Of course, you can also use the scripts, but just to learn the manual method also, let's try to use the manual method. So the service has stopped now. I'll go to database. And what I'll do now, first check the environment. Oracle Home, sounds good. Oracle SID is also DevCDP, which is fine. So first I'll stop the listener. LSNACTL stop DevCDP. Done. So I've stopped my listener successfully. Now I'll connect to my database. And I'll run shut immediate. Since we are stopping the CDB, obviously the PDB will also be down automatically. So the database is down now. So this is how you start and stop services of Oracle Business Suite 12.2 with the 19C database.